What's up guys, this is a quick video on how to connect up to the Wi-Fi and how to use the IPC360 app for the Aitman ID73 IP camera. So right guys, first of all I bought this camera from Amazon and I paid $26.99 and what I'll do is I'll leave a link in the description below just in case if you want any more information or if you want to actually buy one. So right guys, first of all what we need to do is fit the micro SD into the camera. So this is the micro SD card I'm going to use. I'll see if I can get that into the light. So it's a SanDisk Extreme. It's a 64 gigabyte class 10 card. So what we need to do is turn it this way around and it fits into the camera. If you slide this up into the slot here. So we're gonna fit that into the camera like so. And then we're gonna push it until it clicks into place. So there you go, that's clicked into place. We'll just push this back down. And now we'll connect the power supply. I'm going to just use this power bank for the time being. Just turn it on. So right, the camera is on now. So if you can see just about there's a red indicator light right there. And uh, once it's turned on, it will uh, calibrate itself. And then it'll be ready to use. So it's calibrating itself now. So right, the camera's ready now and it's uh, powered up. So the next thing we need to do is download the app, which is called IPC360. And we'll download that from uh, the App Store if you've got an Apple device, or from Google Play if you've got an Android device. So right, first of all, I'm just gonna show you on this tablet because it's got a bigger screen. We're gonna go to the App Store. We're gonna search for the app and it's called IPC360 and this is what it looks like so you know which app to download so we need to download that once you've downloaded it it will open up to like this and it will ask you to sign in but you can't sign in until you've signed up so if you can just see there, it says sign sign up. I don't know if that's coming up because it's on gray. But if I press that now, and this will come up. So first of all, you set what country you're in. And uh, we're in United Kingdom, so I'm gonna leave that on there. Next, it's asking you to add an email address. So you're gonna enter your email address here. .co.uk. So this is just an example. Then you're going to go to obtain and when you press that what will happen in there in about a minute or so or two minutes it will send you an email with the verification code so once you've received your email you'll come back here and you will enter your verification code and then you will press next when you do that it will take you to the next menu system where you set your password up and it will ask you to uh, type in your password in and then to confirm it and then you go to next again so I've already logged into the app itself so I can't go through that procedure but that's everything to it so I'm just going to add my password in and and uh, sign into the app and then I'll show you what the next procedure is so right guys like I was saying once you set your password up you'll come to this menu here like this and the next thing you want to do, if you can see this plus sign on the top right corner, we're going to press that. Now here it's asking you if you want to, if you want to connect up wirelessly or with a wired mode. It's down to you, whatever you prefer. If you want to do a wired mode, you'd have to connect the wire into the back of the camera here, the LAN connection, and that'll go straight to your router and that'll be wired, hardwired. 
but we're going to connect this wirelessly so what we're going to do is we're going to tap wirelessly now here it's telling you to make sure that your camera is powered up and to confirm the camera indicator is flashing red slowly which it is I can see that now so we're going to go to next so here now it's asking us for our Wi-Fi uh, password so you want to make sure here first of all that your it is set up on to uh, the 2.4 gigahertz and not the uh, 5 gigahertz because this will only work on 2.4 gigahertz and if you're not on 2.4 gigahertz you want to get in touch with your internet provider and they will set that up for you straight away without no issues or problems so right next we need to put the password in for the router and that's what I'm going to do now make sure when you type it in type it in exactly the same if there's capital letters use capital letters if there isn't don't use capital letters just copy it identically so right I'm going to put my password in now so right now what it's doing is talking to the camera and connecting up to the router box as well so the apps connecting up to the camera and they're all connecting up to the router so we're just gonna wait a little bit so right the camera saying it's ready and we're just waiting for the app to get ready now here this is the next step and it's asking us to name the camera so you can name it kitchen baby room living room dining room so I'm just gonna leave it on kitchen so now it's saying get a navigation picture and do not move or block within the range of the vision of the camera itself so what that's going to do is it's going to I'm just going to move that out of the way I'm just going to do the best I can with it but what it's going to do is it's going to take 15 pictures and it will make a panoramic photo like this in a 360 degrees and I'll explain why later so we're going to do that now so I'm just going to move out of the way a bit and let it do its thing as you can see it's taking its pictures I'm just going to quickly move out of the way so right I'll quickly show you this so it's done a panoramic photo so if you can see that it's done a 360 degree now it goes straight onto the app itself all right the uh, speakers on so it the camera's microphones on and the sounds coming through on the app so I'm just going to turn that off by pressing the speaker because it's uh, playing it back to us and and then the iPad's repeating it and the camera's hearing it again and it's repeating it again so before I show you any of the app what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out of here by pressing back and uh, I'm going to go through this menu system first before we actually go through the rest of it so here it's offering you free cloud service up to so long and you can try the trial out if you want that's up to you but I'm going to cancel that for now so right we're here now at the moment so I'm just going to go through this quickly so first of all we've got this on the menu system and if I press that that's for encrypting your video so nobody else can play it and it will uh, stop anybody else from copying or playing your footage basically I won't bother with that because you're not really going to share it with anybody apart from family really next to that we've got the cloud sign sign and that's for cloud storage so if you want to store your recordings you can store them on there but you have to actually pay for them next to that we've got the bell sign and that's for notifications so I can I'll show you that in a minute but that's for notifications next to that we've got this other one and this is for sharing the camera itself so you can share this with family and stuff I'm not sure how to use this I've not used this yet but there's a plus sign on the top right if we press that you can add an account to share and uh, you'd put the details in and then you do it from there so I'm just going to cancel that come out of there next to that we've got the gear sign 
So if I press the gear sign, the settings come up. So here you can rename the camera. Next you can share the camera, which is the exact same thing as before. You have to set it up there. So next here we've got, so this is for encrypting your, um, your, your footage. But like I said, I wouldn't bother with this at the moment. I'm not sure, I've not used this yet, but like I said, you're not gonna share it with much people. Then you've got shooting angles. If I go into that, it gives you uh, horizontal or vertical. That, that basically just means if you mount your camera upside down on the ceiling, it will just turn your footage the right way up. Next, we've got the indicator light. You can turn that on and off, which is on the camera itself, the flash, flashing light on it. So if you wanna be a bit more discreet and you don't want anybody to see that, you can turn that off. Next we've got alerts, so if I hit that now, and um, I can press it here and we can turn it on. So the alerts are on and the alert sounds on. And you can set the sensitivity, so it goes from 0 to 5, it's on number 3 at the moment. And then you can customise it by setting it up for different times when you want it to notice any movement to notify you. So right, that's that. So after that we've got the volume, so this is the top one's the camera speaker volume and that's for basically what the camera's got, it's got two way audio and what that means is that you can hear the audio from the camera itself so if you hear any sound you can pick that up plus from the app you can press the microphone and speak through the camera so you can talk to people as well. So that's the volume for that, for when you want to speak to people through the app. Next, we've got the camera notification volume. That's the camera itself makes noise and gives notification. So you can turn that off and you're best to turn that off really because you don't want people hearing what you're doing with the camera and stuff. And the next thing is the camera microphone volume. So that's the volume for the microphone for the camera. I'm just going to come out of that. Next is the language and time zone, so that's simple enough. Uh, encryption mode, that's for the micro SD card for the footage, you can en encrypt it. Underneath that we've got SD card recording settings. And then it's the same thing here again, you can set exactly when you want it to record and when you don't want it to record. And or you can customise it or you can continuously uh, record which it's on now so at the moment it like I said it's on continuous record so underneath that we've got video storage location so that gives you a choice of saving it on the micro SD card what we fitted in the camera before or on the cloud service so the cloud service is not free you'll, you'll have to pay for that so underneath there again it offers you cloud service uh, cloud storage settings uh, it's, it's very similar to what we just had a look at. Uh, here we can change the router. Underneath here we've got the device information. Underneath here we've got the memory card information. So if I hit that, it gives you the status of how much you've used, uh, your total capacity, what's on the micro SD card. And if you can see at the bottom here, you can format your micro SD card. So before you actually start using the camera and stuff, you want to format the micro SD card here so that it will record on it. If you don't do it, it, it might not record your footage uh, onto the micro SD card, so make sure you do that first. So right, um, before I continue, I just want to tell you one thing about the micro SD card. So the micro SD card, what we fitted into the camera, once we fit that in and the camera is set up, that's going to continuously record now and it will not stop recording. And that's on the looping thing now. So when it records fully onto the micro SD card, it will go back to the beginning and it will start recording over that again. So um, that's what's going to happen with that. And like I said, that's going to continuously record. You can't stop that. Um, you can't delete bits off it. The only thing you can do if you want to delete footage off it and start again, you have to format the micro SD card to start fresh again. So right, that's that. So the camera's just uh, 
noticed an alert and it's just sent alerts that it's just letting us know that it's noticed uh, some movement and I'll show you that in a minute so I don't know why it's come here so that was the memory card and then the firmware upgrades is here and that'll tell you what your latest firmware version it's on so underneath that we've got reboot camera if you press that what that will do it'll turn the camera off and uh, it will reboot it and start it again refresh settings information so that means if you change any of the settings and stuff it'll probably put it back to factory settings and finally we've got delete camera so that will delete the camera so if you've got any issues of connecting up or anything like that you can delete it and add the camera again if you have to so right that's all the settings on there and that's all the top bit here so if you look up here, there's a, a dustbin here and that's a delete sign again to delete the camera if you want to. So next to that we've got 360 here. So if I press that, that's a panoramic view uh, of what it took earlier. And if you want it to take another one fresh, you can go to try now. Because once you set up, you have to go through this procedure. And uh, once it's connected, usually people fit it in the place they want afterwards so if you need to do a fresh panoramic view you can do that and I'll explain why that's important the panoramic view so if you want to connect to the camera which I'll show you in a minute because we're going to go in there in a minute but we're not so if we look on the bottom here we've got my devices we've got album we've got alert and settings so my device is this here and this will have all your separate cameras what you you can add you can add quite a few cameras to it as well next to that we've got album and uh, it's got one thing in the album so this is the panoramic view what it took before the 360 that's saved that in the album so i'll just come out of here and here we've got the alert and it's got a red mark on it saying that it's noticed uh, some movement and it's uh, recorded it so it's here it tells you the time and uh, if I press that and if I press this again it's saying it's in the kitchen camera as well and it actually so it actually gives you the footage as well and it's playing it back with the sound so if you can see that so the notification is very good for the uh, motion detection like I said it tells you the date the time tells you which camera it is if you have a few of them because it says kitchen there and it tells you that it's notice of movement and it takes a video of it as well so that's absolutely awesome so right that's the alerts um, if we go to the top of here for the alerts it says all activities motion detected infrared PIR alert incoming calls so you can have it set on different things best to have it on all activities next to that we've got um date over here and if you hit that you can go back and check whatever dates you want for any activities if they've ever been uh saved so right that's that so and after that we've got settings at the bottom so if i hit settings here it says manage your settings so this is for your notification sound that's turned on at the moment uh, you can leave feedback you can get help so if I hit help this is pretty good actually so it gives you a little user manual as you can see and if you have any problems you can get any information you want from here so if I hit that it'll give you information how to log in if I hit that it'll give you information how to register and log in so like I said these are must be a few cameras connected on this example here and uh, it gives you all the information here tells you how to add a camera all the information you need basically so that after that we've got clear our archive and that just clears your archive you can modify your password that just means that you can add a new password you just add your old password in and then add your new password in twice and it'll confirm it or here you can delete the account itself or set up a voice access which I have not done so here you can log out as well but if you've got a, a tablet or a mobile phone the best thing I've noticed is, is it's best not to log out because you have to log back in and 
add the uh, password again. So personally what I do is, I'll just close it. And then I'll just go back into it. So I'm just going to cover my email address up if it comes up. And then it'll just automatically log you back in like that. So that's the best thing to do for it. Then uh, log out. But that's down to you if you want to log out. So right, I'm going to actually show you the camera app itself. So to connect to the camera, all you do is hit this top bar here. And that will load the camera up. So right, the reason why I went to the settings first to show you all that is because if you can notice here on the bar here, this blue indicator mark, this is uh, what we recorded so far onto the camera itself. So if you can see the orange thing, if you're wondering what that is, that's a notification uh, that it noticed uh, some motion was detected and it's put it in on as orange as an indicator. So that's good as well. So if you notice across the bar, it's like a ruler and it's got different times on it. So you can basically um, go back to whatever time you want. So we've got no recording here, but it's going all the way back. So I'm going to take it back again. Um, if you can see the date here, it says 2019 of the 2nd of September 2019. And you can change the date from here. So it's gone to August, it goes back or forward. And if you hit the actual bar itself, it will give you a date like this so you can flick through it and check whatever date you need to check. So right, uh, cancel. So that's that on the bar. So what I want to explain to you now is like I said to you about the micro SD card, once you put it in, it starts recording all the time. And I, I know people get confused with this all the time. I'm going to do my best to explain and, and try to uh, help you understand how this works. But basically, the blue bar underneath here, this is everything what's been recorded on the micro SD card. It's not saved on the tablet and it's not saved on the app. It's just stored on the, but you can get access to it here. So if I slide this back a bit, if you can see the indicator line, line there, up to here, it will go back and start playing the player back now. So, so this is the player back now, as you can see, and it's playing it back now. So here you can turn the sound on and off. And uh, like I said, this is the player back. This is not live, this is the player back. So if you wanted to take some footage off here or something like that and you wanted to take a picture, all you do is press picture and it saved it to your album and it saved it to the app as well. So I'll take another picture. There you go, it's taking another picture. If you wanted to record a video footage, you see this video sign here, you press this video sign and now it says it started recording. So that's recording now. So I'll just give it a little bit of time so it can pick some footage up so I can show you later in the album. So once you've got your bit of footage, all you do is press pause here. And it says that it's uh, stopped recording and saved it into your album. So to come out of here, you can press back here. Right, I've come out of the camera, but we'll press the bar again and go back into it. So right, this is live footage now. And uh, just to show you, it's got a two second delay, but right, it's just noticed some motion. That's why it's doing that because of my hand and it's giving it notification as well. So this is live footage now, what's happening exactly right now. So if I come here and uh, if, if you see the camera sign here, if I press this now, this will take a picture of the live footage. So I'll give you an example if I can. I'm going to put my hand in front of it and I'm going to take a picture. So I've taken a couple of pictures like that and that's done. On the other side here we've got a video sign and that will, if I press it, it'll start recording and it's recording any live footage now. So that's recording that now. And if I press the pause button that'll stop recording and it'll save it in the album. So that's, like I said before, that saved it 
onto the app album and in the camera roll for the tablet and if you're using a phone it'll be in the phone memory as well so if you see this a here which i should have showed you earlier if you press that it offers you auto standard uh, device or high definition so put that on high definition obviously it's going to give you a much better picture and clearer picture so there you go um so here in the middle if you can see that it says talk and this is the actual microphone like i was explaining before you can speak two ways so this is where you could uh, speak through the camera to whoever maybe your child or whatever if you've got a security cam near your front door or something you can speak to somebody and all you need to do is press it down and speak into it hello hello one two three testing, one, two, three, testing. and then you simply let go of it so that's two-way audio. That's two-way audio. Right, I'm just going to turn the sound off. So that's everything across the bottom bar. I've shown you how to get your player back and how to take your footage off there as well. Just uh, checking what else I haven't shown you. Right, how to navigate around the app itself. So like I said to you, this is the panoramic picture what it took before of the 15 pictures the 360 degrees and it did that for a reason as you can see it's it's there and if you wanted to quickly get to a certain position and see what you want to want to see you can tap that there and the camera will automatically move to that position so if I press this here it will move again and if I press it here again it will move here it's really good to get to where you want straight away so I really like that feature. So um, another way of uh, moving around, you can simply drag it across. You can push it up or down. So you can pull it down. Or if you wanted, you could double tap on the screen and what it will do is wherever you tap it, it will move that to the center of the screen so that's what it will do so that's another quick way of moving about and uh, if you wanted you can zoom in as well so you can zoom in and out uh, I'm trying to think what else can I show you so that's how you navigate around the screen itself um, you can turn it sideways as well and that will give you a a full picture view as you can see and the same thing there you can do that and it'll move in and if you want to zoom in you can zoom in and out and uh, it's got a camera here you can take pictures so it's taking a picture uh, what's this top one for the top one here it recalibrates the camera so it's going to spin around 360 degrees and recalibrate again. So it's not just uh, motion. So it's recording that now. I will show you that later. So, yep. Let's move back up here. Um, trying to think what else can I show you. So right, it's got this thing at the bottom here. If you can see that, if I press that. It gives you a mad view like this. Uh, I'm not sure how to use it. It's gone, uh, the camera itself has got infrared and because I'm blocking it with the tablet at the back of it, it's turned the infrared lights on now. It's on with its night vision. And you can see that the night vision is pretty good on it as well. So right, if I spin this round. It will take it to the next place. Um, like I said, I don't really use this much, but that's how you use that. Right, I'm going to come out of here. We'll come back to here. I'm just trying to think. What else can I show you on the thing itself? So I've shown you how to navigate. I've shown you how to, you can zoom in and out. Like I said, you can zoom in and out. You can move left and right. It's got pretty clear footage. Um, 
So if you notice there, it's recorded the motion, what was detected in orange again. So that's a really good feature. Um, I just noticed something else moving in front of the camera is giving us a notification. I think I've shown you everything on here, but right, okay. If I come out of here by pressing the back button here and we go to the album. So it's got eight things in total here. And if I go through them, these are the pictures what I took before. And this was while it was, uh, while the micro SD card was playing and we took some footage off the latter. And uh, this is the video what we took from the playback. So this is the sound, you can turn it sideways and it'll give you a picture. So that was that. Um, you can delete it, you can upload it, but there's no point because it's automatically, does upload it to your tablet or your phone memory as well. So if we come out of there, we've got this, this was the picture of the live footage. So that's the picture I took of the live. And this is the video I took off the live. So it saves it all on there. Um, and there's a panoramic view as well. So that's all your uh, pictures and videos, what you saved. So we can go back to the alerts at the bottom. So it's got another alert, it's very sensitive, but we are close to it. So if I press that, it says four there. So if I hit that, these are the four motion detected since I've had it turned on. It's given us the video footage at the time where it noticed the motion. So that's when I was taking pictures and videos of the live footage. So I'll come out of that. And uh, we'll go to the next one. So this is the other one. I'm not going to go through all of them, but basically you get the idea. So the motion detection is really good because it doesn't just notice the time and date. It takes an actual video footage of it so you can look back and see who it was or what it was. So right, we'll go back to my device. Um, we'll hit the camera again. Just trying to think now what else could I show you, but I think that's everything I can show you. Remember, if you do have any issues or problems, just reset up again with the camera. And uh, you've got a reset button underneath where the micro SD card is. I'll, I'll quickly show you that, just in case if you do have any issues or problems. This is where the micro SD card went. And if you see there, there's a, a button there. All you need to do is hold it down for two seconds and it will reset your camera. Flipping heck. Um, So what that will do is uh, reset your camera and uh, it will um, basically get it ready to reset up again. So right guys, that's everything I can show you on the camera and uh, I hope this helps somebody out who's having problems connecting up or using it. And thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye.